and I found myself once again invited to the Black Balls, where women's rights were being championed. You see, man in his arrogance has felt himself fully equal to the work of governing without the help of women. He's held the reins of power securely in his own hands, while the history of nations and the present experience of the world show the woeful, woeful work he has made of governing. You see, a slaveholder would represent the slave. Wealthy landowners of other countries would represent the poor, and men of this country claim to represent women. But the true doctrine of American liberty plainly is that each class and each individual within that class should be allowed to represent themselves. Which brings me to this. The right of a woman to vote is sacred in my judgment. And if I'm ever called upon to give my assent in any official capacity, I will raise both my hands in favor. And this is a right that should be given as quickly as possible. So one form of slavery is ended, but another form continues. So as long as women are denied their rights to vote, they too are enslaved. So I urge you all to petition your congressmen and representatives on this important subject. For the sooner women are allowed to vote, the sooner America will truly be the land of the free. <laughs> but are we free, I wonder? Will we ever be truly free? Or is freedom an abstraction that can never be made into a practical reality? I think that I know that oftentimes I am bound. Yet of this much I'm certain, freedom, whether an abstraction or fact, is something worth fighting for. May the battle continue.